I'll just talk through some fundamental shit that I work on personally and then you guys can try it out if you want to. People are always worried about stance and what you're gonna do with your hands and what, I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know what to do with my feet. Um, traditional like shooting positions, right? Like, let's get into the gun, lean as far forward as you can. Um, it doesn't feel good when you're wearing kit doing that, right? Like loading my upper body and then pushing it out over my hips. I like to try to stack all my bones and keep everything in alignment because by the time you guys get to the target and you're actually getting into this gunfight, you're probably exhausted at that point and you're not going to be the most crisp. So I just try to stack phones and be as efficient as possible with that. I'm going to stand over here. Right. Um, you're clear and safe. Cool. Uh, so it's going to look different for everybody because all of you dudes have a different body, right? Like body type, body shape, everything. Um, but what I like to do, and I already see most of you dudes doing this, I like to do a staggered stance, drop my strong side back. And that's gonna, like the distance that I drop it back is completely dependent on what's comfortable for me, right? There's no like one size fits all for this. The other thing that I like to think about is like, same thing if you're gonna get in that fist fight, you're not gonna stand there, uh, uh, you know, squared up in a stance, you're gonna go sugar foot and drop that strong side back. Like Muay Thai and all that stuff, boom, we drop it back. The only thing that we do is instead of turning our foot out, like in Muay Thai, you're gonna just turn that foot forward as much as possible, like, because that will lock your hips and turn them into alignment this way, right? So why is that important? Not really if I'm just doing like one, two, three shots with my rifle, but if I'm going one to 30 as fast as I can, that's when I really wanna be super stable and lock all that shit in. And uh, if I've got this hip open, I can start to have the gun run out and open it's going to find that opening whereas if i just turn my hip and i lock everything in and like the little last key is i just flex my butt cheek on this side and that makes me lock my hip um, and you're not stuck in this position either i can just turn and run from any direction when i need to back left forward you're already set to drive right whereas if you're here you're going to have to take a step then another step to actually drive like i'm already in a position to drive whatever direction i'm omnidirectional at this point right just because my right side's back doesn't mean I can't just break out this way, right? Just because my right side's back doesn't mean I can't drive off my left foot. Um, same thing, facing movements, right? Army guys, facing movements. Same thing like in the kill house when I have to hit a button hook. What is that? You're doing an about face, but well, you got to basically clip yourself through a wall and get down that other wall. That's like the stagger stance is great for that because I can just turn and go, right? Uh, same thing if we're like in uh, land warfare. You guys are all online, you're looking, looking, looking. There's my out, cool, I can move that way. Um, so it's completely applicable, it's not just for the static range, like, oh, I'm getting set, and then I'm locking everything in. No, it's you gotta build a foundation before you build the house, right? So, stance is the baseline, it's the foundation. I use the same stance for a pistol that I do for a rifle. Same thing, like, my pistol, it's only nine mil, I don't need all this support really holding it, but I'm training to fight people and not paper. Right, so I want to be strong in every position that I'm in. Um, yeah, I like to keep everything nice and tight. Um, when my gun gets away from me, I lose strength and stability, right? The closer it is into my body, the stronger it is. So if I'm running from compression, either high or low ready, I've got that thing really sucked in tight on me as much as I can on my body. And I've got like touch points that I run. So I'll keep this thing just tucked and touching my shoulder here. And then as I present it, it's like throwing a jab. Right, so I'm gonna take my, my left hand and I'm gonna dry that thing out and the first thing that it hits is my cheek. Right, so that's a touch point. I don't have to move my eyes, I don't have to drop my head or anything. I drive it out as it's going out, safety switches, finger on the trigger, sucks back in. Head doesn't move, right? Same thing here, high ready. The only thing is changing is where this is, right? So instead of being above my shoulder, it's below my shoulder and muzzle orientation. I'm still looking kind of out over the end of the muzzle, looking at my target, driving right in low ready i know none of you dudes do high ready i'm completely positionally agnostic like it doesn't matter to me um as long as whatever you guys are doing is the most efficient for you 